Hi, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. I just want to share a couple things about doing patterns and how to cut them out on a bandsaw. Some of you have asked about that and um, and how I did it and you know how you go about doing so. I actually took my carvings and put them on my copying machine um, and made a sheet of paper like this. It came out like this, okay? And this is the sheet and um, I was able to get all the profiles and stuff and then I took another sheet uh, copy and I cut each of these out okay the wren and the cardinal and the goldfinch and how you cut this on a bandsaw I just want to share this with you uh, with the wren here um, you can see I have multiple ones okay the way, that's the easiest way to do that is to take a block of wood that's maybe two inches thick um, or three two inches your bandsaw has to be perfectly square. If it's not, it's, you're going to have one that's off at the bottom. Mine is perfectly square. You can take a, um, a, um, a block of wood to make sure that it's square. Um, what I did was I put the pattern on, I cut it out on a bandsaw, and then I turned it over sideways on the bandsaw and used another block, the edge of a block, and and sliced it through and that's how I can keep it even so I got about one two three four five of these out of one um, one two inch block and then you have multiple ones that you can use uh, and you can carve you know if you want to do them for a Christmas tree or you want to do some for some friends at Christmas time or some you know little gifts um, they're perfect for that that way you don't have to cut each one individually and I did the wren that way and I did the cardinal I only have two of the cardinal here right now the cardinal is the same way and you want to make sure when you slice them through a bandsaw that they're you know when you have your block of wood here and you have your blade at the other end that you can put that any thickness you want but the nice thing about running it against the block is that it will stay even okay um, the, that it won't get wavy like this thing won't get wavy in between it's a little off once in a while but it's not noticeable and they'll stay flat on a wall or you know if you hang them up you won't really notice them so that's how I did the cardinal and that's how I did the goldfinches the same way I took it and made multiple ones out of it you see the one is really thin and I can still carve that that really doesn't matter but you notice there's a little imperfection in the wood you just do the other side and you can still use it okay so that's how that worked out so these patterns um, you know I don't know if you want one of these uh, I do these on my own photocopier they take a little while to print out but uh, it also gives you all the detail of the uh, where the feathering should be um, uh, uh, like I have on my birds that I have here if you want one of these I can sell it for you for 350 just email me at uh, and I'll send it to you in the mail um, you know and, and if you want one it's 350 for that and then you'll get all three patterns the other thing you'll have to get is the glass size um, I'm trying to find a good supplier that I can get it at a decent price in the future uh, and I'm working on that as well but if you're interested in that you're welcome to email me for that pattern and I'll I'll get one out to you and then you can make a copy of that one and then cut them out and then you'll have a perfect profile for what you need to cut out on a bandsaw okay so if you're interested in that, just email me. Um, the other nice little thing about doing multiple cuts like this on a bandsaw is I want to explain. These things can stay flat because there's a way to keep them that they didn't rock. If you did it this way, they could rock going through the bandsaw. You want to make sure they're perfectly flat. I had a niece that came from Canada with her children this weekend. And I'm still in the process of working on a couple of things. And the, the one that's eight years old is a hockey player. She loves hockey. And I know a lot of Canadians love hockey. Um, we Americans are more into our baseball and football. But um, I'm into none of them, really. Um, but she wanted me to make a, a Toronto maple leaf plaque to put on her wall. This is a very easy um, project. All I did was I, she ha I didn't even have a pattern for it. This is a nice time to have a, a good copier if you don't have one and if you can afford to have one that can enlarge and reduce. Because this was only about a couple inches, maybe half, a third of the size of this. And I put it on my copying machine and blew it up. And you can see it's losing some of the, um, the actual uh, lettering and stuff. Well, what I did was I cut out a block, and this is the actual block, okay? 
um, and I cut it out of almost, and there's another piece here that was added to it. Um, I cut out the block, the profile, and then I left the one side flat so it would stay flat going through the bandsaw because I couldn't figure out a way that this wouldn't rock when I, when I would take it through a bandsaw. So it's very important not to have it rock to go through a bandsaw. That's when you can cut yourself and slip and all the rest. So make sure it's sturdy and it's firm. And again, I took a block and ran it across the block um, to, to run it through the bandsaw, and then I opened it up further. My bandsaw can do 12 inches thick, so I was able to cut this. Um, you know, but if you want to make a smaller one, that's fine. And I thought, well, how am I going to get that lettering in? Because all that lettering I did, I carved that out with a knife, and then I repainted it with the white and the blue. And what I did was I laid it on here, and because this wood's so nice and... Um, uh, so, so nice and soft. I took a pencil and just pushed it in really hard and the kids helped me with that. Um, they watched fr from the time I went to the barn and picked up the lumber to when I cut it on a bandsaw. They, they were with me. They were, they were really enthusiastic to see this project come to, to life and uh, the, the kids were really happy to see it and she's just thrilled with this. She doesn't know I have this right now. I just borrowed this so I could take the tape. Uh, I'll bring it back to her today really quickly. Um, so I just wanted to show you that you can make multiple multiple um, ones out of one block and that's what I did here too. I have two of them now and now the other kid wants one so now uh, I'm going to make another uh, maple leaf one and for for their uh, their son so um, that's a nice little project to do it's great to have kids all I did was round it off cleaned it up painted it and carved the letters in and and all that so it's a it's a cute little project to work on so I've got to work on this one today but this explains how you can do multiple cuts out of one block and again if uh, if you need any you know, have any questions or anything just email me and I'll be more than happy to um, to uh, to take care of it. So, okay. Well, thanks a lot for joining, and I hope that explains how you can cut multiple things out of a bandsaw. And it's great if you have a copying machine. It's it's it does wonders. Okay. Bye bye.